Hey, this is Jill Duffy for PCMag.com. And yes, I'm showing you code, but don't let that scare you away. This is Get Organized, a weekly series of articles and videos about organization. Let me just put up some other pictures so you don't have to look at code for a second. Now, I like to keep things simple and try to explain how to organize your technology in very easy and simple ways. Um, but today we are going to look at some code in order to clean up some RSS feeds. I promise it's not as hard as it sounds, and I'll show you exactly how to do it. So if you use an RSS feed reader, you're probably aware that Google shut down Google Reader on July 1st. If you're going to migrate to another service from Google Reader, you'll download this packet of information called Google Takeout, and inside you'll find a file called subscriptions.xml. We're going to open that here with any old text editor. Mine is just called text editor. And you'll see this long gobbledygook page of code. Those are all of your feeds. Now the reason you would want to open this page of code and manipulate your feeds this way is because it's a lot quicker than doing it inside a reader. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually make a copy of this file so that I don't mess up the original just in case. Now as you start to look through the lines of code you'll see that every feed starts with an open angled bracket and ends with a closed angled bracket. And if you look closely at it you can see that it just simply says the name of the feed or the URL that you have um, and the label that you've put on it. So it's, it's actually not that complicated. It's pretty easy to read if you just kind of home in on it a little bit. So let's say I want to go through and delete a whole bunch of feeds that I know are inactive or that I don't want anymore. What I would do is just kind of look through this file and identify them. Um, what I would do is put some paragraph returns around them to isolate them so that I could review them all before actually deleting them. If you've read other articles in the Get Organized series or other videos in this series, you might know that I'm a fan of keyboard shortcuts. So here you can use Control F or Command F to search the page for any word that you want to find, F being for find, of course. So if you know the name of your feed, it makes it really easy to just search for it and have your program bring you directly to the, that feed rather than have to read all of this code. Now you don't have to clean up your feeds this way. You can of course delete any feeds from within an RSS feed reader that you're going to use, um, like G2 Reader or Feedly or the old reader. But when you have a lot of feeds that you want to delete, doing it one by one in the feed reader can be really time consuming. That's why I like to use this um, subscriptions.xml file. When you're done, you just save the file and just make sure that you put .xml at the end of the file name. If the program warns you that it's not the right file type, just ignore it. It is. And that's it. From there, you can just upload this file into your new feed reader. I'm Jill Duffy for PCMag.com, helping you stay organized. You can email me anytime at jill underscore duffy at PCMag.com.